Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, presented by Draco Breach. Last time, we discovered a uh, Gerudo woman blocking a shrine. Uh, but she is dying of thirst, so I am going to try to help her. Okay, that's just Saffron. And I am doing just that this episode as I try to find... Um, the Ice House, which is guarded, not just by Garuda, which is what I was, hello, expecting, but by Lizalfos, which, as soon as I saw the ruins, I started expecting. Uh, let's pick up some saffron and some hot peppers. Sure, why not? I've already learned that there are hot areas in the desert that require two levels of heat protection. What has eight hit points over here? Oh. Oh, you're going to... Oh, okay. But you didn't give me... A lot. Did I wake up? No. Okay. But you're kind of... Uh, what was I just talking about? Um... Oh, rats. Um... It's starting to become... Nighttime. Did that Lazalfo see me? I think they did, but now they've lost me. Oh well. Um, what was I just talking about? Anyway, heading up here. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. This is an ice house used for storing the ice brought down from the mountains. Seeing as we live in the desert, it's pretty important stuff for us, Garuda, so I guard the ice house 24 hours a day. I see. Well, if Ferosa wants ice, then you should bring it, Hurt. You're permitted to take some ice. I've taken the heat into account. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. Ferosa has no use for water. Uh, now I'm worried. Oh, this ought to be good. Okay, so... Oh, it's... And unfortunately, I have to walk the entire time, because if you try to run... Oh, this is good. So I need to stick to shadows. Wait, what if... Nope. Oh, this'll be good. Are you guys new? You weren't here before. I call shenanigans. Oh, bomb arrows. That's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm probably doing this wrong. I am probably doing this wrong. Oh. You're just going to try my patience, aren't you? Well, at least there's a... I think I can lower the temperature by getting into the shade over here. 
and save a, more of the ice. I hope. I hope I'm right. She said the ruin entrance, so I should be close. I hope I'm I hope I'm close. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, I see you, woman. Um wait. How Well, that didn't work. That worked. Just... Thank you, Mifa. I I think I can... You're... well, whatever, I don't care who you are as long as I get my ice. Looks like the ice is in good shape. Sar... sar... Uh, whatever. With this, I'll be able to make the ultimate noble pursuit. Sorry, but could you please let Pokey know? Tell her that I made the best one ever and I've got it waiting for her. Knowing her, she'll probably come running when she hears that there's an amazing drink with her name on it. Wait, I don't have to take it to her? Well, I guess that makes it so that you won't be tempted to drink it? I don't know. Um... Really? Um... Da -da 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 -da. What is the closest I can... <laughs> I think... Okay. Going from here, I might be able to do some gliding? Hmm. That is the question. I found 109 Korok seeds. I think I have 26 currently on me. How many do I have currently? 27. So... Anyway, while we're wandering back, I have random thing to talk about, actually. Um, I actually recently decided to start IV breeding some Pokemon uh, in a combination of Sun and Moon and X and Y. I'm going to end up depositing the, the better ones into um, the Pokebank to give over to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but for the time being, I've, I've just been randomly breeding some. I got a competitive Primarina. I was quite happy that I got a female one, too. That was, that was nice. That's a nice little bonus. Um, but I also have a competitive Slowbro uh, and a competitive Mawile, so that's always fun, getting getting fun Pokemon like that. Slowbro just because it can be a defensive monster and Mawile because I honestly love Mawile. I've always loved its, loved its design. And I have silly names for them. Like, um... Mawile is named Futakuchi after the Futakuchi Ona, which is a Japanese um... hair demon, I, ba I guess you could say. Oh, I need... Um... And, of course, I had to name my Slowbro Death Wall, because if you know um, what moves to give it, it is one of the dumbest little stall walls you will find out there as a Mega Slowbro. But how did I miss you? Um, so... Yeah, I had a little bit of fun with that. Um, I'm going to be raising a Heracross and a Garchomp next because Garchomp is probably one of my favorite uh, Pokemon out there. Has been since it was introduced, I believe, in Gen 3. Um, 
which is the Sinnoh region. Wait, or is it Gen... F I'm bad with remembering my gens. I remember, I remember really liking the Gen 4 inventory. I think it's one of my favorite inventories, but entirely beside the point. So, yeah, I mean, there's that. Uh, the hilarious thing is I actually managed to get a 6 IV Slowbro, and unfortunately it has, I think it's the Oblivious Nature, which increases speed at the detriment of defense, which is a pretty terrible nature. But it's 6 IV in a Monster Water 1 egg grouping, so yeah, that could be kind of fun to use, um, especially since it's a male and I can try using Destiny Knot to get uh, multiple IVs onto um, another type of monster, such as, I believe, like Surskit, to get 5 IVs onto Surskit so that I can transfer five IVs onto Heracross. It's, it's kind of silly, the shortcuts that you find by looking at egg groupings. And I've talked about Pokemon for a good three minutes as I walked to Pokey. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to rot here. Actually, uh, I don't know why I gave her that name, voice. Did you say best noble pursuit ever? <laughs> I am gone. I'm actually kind of surprised that you run like that, but whatever. And unlock the shrine as the text scrolls. That's great. Okay, so... All that for a shrine entrance. And I think... Next episode, I'll go ahead and do the, um, Sand Seal Race. And I want to... Mm, who do I want to do next? Um, I think I'll do the... The, um... Oh, this is a blessing. Okay. I am... Misai Suma, by entering this place you have already proven your worth. What, by doing something nice for somebody? And skipping out on the challenge? What do you have for me? Diamond. Which actually reminds me. Um... Oh, I need to, I need to do some gem hunting. I'll probably do that between Saturday's episode and next Wednesday's episode. You have done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. Also, while I'm thinking about it, look forward to some speedrun attempts on the um, Hat in Time speedrunning event, because as some of you may know, I backed a hat in time, and I am very happy that I did it, because it does look great. It actually looks to deliver a good game, and um, I'm going to do the speedrun to get the speedrun hats. I, I don't expect to have amazing times. I'm just going to attempt it for the fun of it. I'm not a speedrunner, as you have seen with my blind plays like this. I get distracted, and I want to do things, and, and like, some part of me just tells me that there is, um, there is something to do in Garuda Town, Garu Gerudo Town, oh, I said I was going to go there, um, who quickest way might actually be from there, yeah. Um, so, doing a speedrun is going to be kind of interesting. I do understand how speedruns work um, on a conceptual level. It's just that being a little bit OCD, I'm not the best person to actually find tips, tricks, and everything. Which is hilarious, because if, if I ever show how I play... Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm. 
certain levels specifically of of Super Mario World. Um, you'll see that I do quite well understand how to do speedruns uh, because I understand how to get the best times. I'm just not one... Oh, hello! To really do it all that often. Uh, what kind of bow do you have? Soldier's bow. I did not want to pick you up. Oh well, let's see. I've never picked up a Moblin arm. Okay. And I've... I kind of like how it looked like that hand is trying to reach for that bow. Um... Because I have, I do, um, I do play through so, some of the levels rather quickly, and I'm rather proud of some of my, what the speedrunners would call ILs. I've never recorded them, I have no interest in recording them, I'm just, because it's just something that looks like a nose. It's just something that I enjoy doing, is seeing how quickly I can get through some of those levels, um, but not necessarily... What was that noise? But not necessarily consistently, and not really to try setting records. It's, it's, it's kind of a weird way of looking at it. It's like, I like to challenge myself sometimes to get through them, but I'm not... Eh, I don't know. Still, games, games like A Hat in Time are going to be games that I'm going to find difficult to, to want to speedrun because I'm going to want to find all the secrets. I'm going to want to do this, that, and the other thing. I'm going to go, ooh, what's the over here? Ooh, what's over here? It, it, you know, 3D platformers, ever since they were first created, have been... Uh, do I not have your... I do have your name. Have been something that I'm more interested in... Um, exploring rather than... than perfecting time through, which, you know, I've never tried, really, to get great times with Super Mario 64 or um, Super Mario Sunshine, which is interesting because I understand the concept of how to do it. Eh, beside the point. Anyway, why do you look so dejected? Um, why do you look so sad? Oh, you're asleep, so, um, anyway, random aside out of the way, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.